<laughs> hey guys, it's Joe and I from the Glam Lab. I'm changing my eye color. <laughs> hey guys, it's Joe and next up in the Glam Lab, I am getting my eyes checked because I know there is something up with them. If you haven't gathered this already, I hate to break it to you, but screen time isn't exactly good for our eyes. And regardless of how much time you had spent on screens, the pandemic seemed to up that time for all of us. And it has caused so many of us to suffer from something called digital eye strain. Digital eye strain has to do with the fact that we are constantly looking at images up close. Your eye muscles are working harder to focus on images much, much closer. Now I've always had 20-20 vision, but I really started noticing towards the end of the day, the screen in front of me was getting blurred blurry when I was editing. I would notice rings or lights around words and objects. And to be honest, it's only gotten worse. In 10 years, half of the world's population will be nearsighted. That can't be good. Digital eye strain can trigger a whole range of issues. It could be headaches, migraines, fatigue, trouble focusing, dry eyes, red eyes, teary eyes, droopy eyelids. Luckily, if you go to the right doctor, there is a huge range of treatment options. And to really show the wide range of effects, I'm bringing along my friend Latea. She's also a producer at ABC and loves a lot of screen time. So we went to line of sight to see celebrity optometrist, Dr. Jennifer Sock. It was very important to me to be able to provide the latest services and eye treatment. We wanted to feel like you're being pampered or taken care of like a spa or wellness. Okay, so I've saved your information and we can start. So awesome. you in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the results was we had way more problems than we even foresaw. Yeah, it's kind of like an eye joke. But really, first of all, we both have astigmatism. Welcome to the club. <laughs> And that can cause blurred distance, near vision, or both. But that's not all. Latea had visible bacteria back up on her eyelids because of her big eyelashes. She was also experiencing a drooping eyelid. I have a laundry list now, thing. <laughs> and then I have clogged pores in my waterline. I didn't even know that was possible. So now it's time to go back for our treatment. And what we're about to get kind of blows my mind. For Latea, we're going to do a, a lid cleaning first. We're going to remove all the buildup with a quick and easy device, couple of facts. Currently, the tip is soaking in antibacterial solution. Are you ready? Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm just curious to see what bacteria is in there because I do wear a lot of lash extensions. This is what can happen. Not something that we can see ourselves. Let's clean her up. Let's do it. <laughs> this is just a facial wipe. I like to add a little anesthetic drop just so that you feel comfortable. So we're going to go across your bottom lashes first. And then you just go across the top lash there and just remove what's there. Feels really good. My eyes feel lighter and relaxed. We get done taking our makeup off and we just wipe it with soap or we do a makeup wipe. This feels like I've got like a really nice deep cleaning. All right, clean lids, clean lashes. She also noticed that her right lid was uh, droopy, so the aperture is much smaller compared to her left eye. She thought that you know she had to get Botox or surgical treatment to lift her lid permanently, and we said before you consider any of that, we have a drop called of me that gives you instant um, eye lift. So we're going to put in one drop, simple and easy, look all the way up to the ceiling, so there, you can dab. All you need is just a drop at the start of the day, and it actually works within like five to eight minutes. Stays there for like eight to 10 hours. People need to know about this. Yeah. Feels like a regular eye drop. Yeah. Now we wait to see the results. You can see how like there's more tissue here. Like yeah. you see this one lifts. That's wild. I got the full eye spa today. I'm feeling so good. Um, she also noticed that she's far sighted. So for her, her issue is more so up close. This is you without prescription. What? That's crazy. That's clear, right? Yeah, I had no idea. I was in denial about not being able to see. So we're going to do the light therapy uh, to help with her myobomine gland dysfunction to improve the dryness. And you lift your hair up. Really? really? It's an eye spa. <laughs> it allows me to deliver safe um, FDA approved like light pulses around the eyes to help open up and express your oil glands, but it also um, stops the inflammatory process of dry eyes. In case you want a little stress ball. Does <laughs> it hurt? And at the same time, it kills the bacteria around the eyes that has developed over time with like sweat, makeup, bacteria. This is just cooling gel. There we go. You actually didn't flinch at all. Skin feels really good, really smooth. I let patients relax in the room for a few oh, minutes. Oh, this feels like good up on my temples too. This is actually massaging her ocular muscles around and adding a little bit of compression. Is it warming or is that? It warms up too. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Press your forehead in. Look all the way up to the ceiling. 
Over time, her oil is so stagnant that it turns into frozen butter from bacteria make up debris. And so we're opening up the pores to push out the whiteheads and so that she can make nice clear fluid again. Or is that stressful? Ew, Joe. Uh, yeah. It's like a whitehead. Yeah. Okay, you're <laughs> done. Now, when it came to correcting her vision, it was clear Latea needed glasses. But for me, there was an option for a nightly hard contact lens. To have a way to correct your vision, we wanted to do myopia management. OrthoK is a reverse contact lens wear, which means you actually wear the lens to sleep at night. That flattens your cornea. In the morning, you take off the lens. You actually you don't need to wear glasses anymore or soft contacts during the daytime because it corrects your vision so that you see 20-20. Just to be clear, I've never put one contact on ever. So my reaction is probably not going to be the ideal reaction. If you're someone who struggles with eyesight and you're used to contacts, it's probably for you. Okay. <laughs> put your head straight. Head back. No. <laughs> yeah. All you do is wear this lens to sleep at night and that's it. You're gonna wake up and things are gonna be sharp and clear. We just went with glasses for me. Now, Latea's lens combined prescription for distance with computer glasses. Ooh, I love these. Well, I just got straight computer glasses. They help relieve focusing stress while looking at screens up close as well as block blue light. Oh, that's so cute. Get your eyes checked. You never know what pus could be lingering. The takeaway, these are a game changer. Super cute. I can't imagine doing anything on a screen without these. On my computer, looking at my phone. They even feel better on my eyes standing this close to the camera because I'm looking right at the screen. Okay, let's talk price. Keep in mind, these are based on line of sight in New York City. The lash lid cleaning comes in at $250 a session. To get those magical drops that lift your eyelid, aka up knee, it'll cost you $169 for a consultation. And if you're a candidate, they'll write you a prescription. And for the light therapy, you're looking at $500 a session and they suggest four. So that's a grand total of $2,000. Ouch, I know. But keep in mind, I did see a difference after just one session and your skin is reaping benefits as well. As for contacts and glasses, it's really hard to put a price tag on that because there is such a wide range. It's going to depend on your prescription strength, the maker of the contacts, the brand of the lens, the brand of the frame, and what insurance will cover. My suggestion is talk to your doctor upfront about your budget before you start shopping around. Regardless, it is worth your time, money, and most importantly, your health to get your eyes checked. I mean, have you been watching this whole time? And if you're in the New York City area, I highly recommend checking out Line of Sight. Whether you want to try it or not. At least we did, so you don't have to.